Uh, hello, and uh, welcome to the Section 1.3 video lecture. I'm Dr. Spano. I'm glad to have you back with me again today for our next section. So today, uh, we're going to talk about uh, Section 1.3, which is about simple random sampling. So as we've mentioned in previous sections, most of the time when you're doing statistics, you're not going to look at the entire population. Uh, they're simply too large, and it's too hard to ask everybody um, for their responses. So what we do is we use what are called sampling techniques to get a smaller subset of the entire population. The most common of these um, is simple random sampling, and that's what we're, we're going to look at today. And then in section 1.4 in the next video, uh, you'll get to learn about some of the other uh, ways we can create samples. So go ahead and take out your chapter one handouts that look like this. Uh, once again, remember you can find these in Blackboard under today's week. Uh, or on my math lab, depending on how your course is set up. So, simple random sampling is the process of using chance to select individuals from a population to be included in the sample. A sample of size lowercase n from a population of size capital N is obtained through simple, uh, simple random sampling if every possible sample of size lowercase n has an equally like, likely chance of occurring. This sample is then called a simple random sample. For small populations, you can obtain a simple random sample by choosing names out of a hat or doing something similar. However, for larger groups, assign each individual a unique number between 1 and capital N and then select n random numbers between 1 and capital N. Because we must number the individuals in the population, we must have a list of all the individuals within the population, which is called a frame. So there's a number of different ways um, to do um, a random sample in this way to randomly select numbers. Uh, the one we're going to look at in the notes is, and that I'm going to ask you to use on the homework um, is these random number tables. And the reason we use these for the homework is um, this is kind of an old school method, but it's a nice way to practice doing a simple random sample where we'll all get the same answers. Because one of the problems with random sampling is you wouldn't expect people to get the same answers if you use some other means. But there are other ways to do this. Um, let me mention real quick before we get into these problems, such as using a um, some sort of graphing um, calculator. Um, this uh, that you see up here on the screen is called class calc. Uh, it's the calculator we're using for this course and that I talked about on the first day of class or in the welcome video, uh, depending on the format of the course. So you might have this downloaded um, to um, your phone or tablet, or you could also have this um, on the web page. I'm using it on my iPad here that I'm using to make these videos. So if I wanted to make a simple random sample, of using technology like this, I could go to stat. Okay. Uh, and then under stat, there's a lot of different options. This one I believe is under advanced. It is. Um, and you're looking for the random one. So notice there are three different things that say random. Now, in this case, what we're looking for is a random number. What's the fancy math word for a whole number? Um, that number is an integer. And so that means we're going to use random int. And now we in, need to input three things. And one of the things I like about class calc versus um, some other options for this is it's very explicit in what it's looking for you to put in uh, to use it. So in this case, it says min. So what's the minimum number you want to return? Maximum. What's the maximum number you want to return? And a lowercase n, which is um, what is, um, how many do you want? So let's say we wanted to randomly select 10 states. So our minimum number would be 50. Our, I mean, minimum number would be 1 because we've labeled our 50 states from 1 to 50. So we want numbers between 1 and 50, and we want 10 of them. Okay. And then it'll look like this. And if you want to see the list, you click on uh, this thing in the lower right-hand corner that looks like a square with an arrow pointing out of it. And if I click on that, I get my list. So 32, 26, 4, 33, 30, 18, uh, and so on. Now notice some of those repeated. 
So one of the things you might have to do if some of those repeat is you might have to do it again. Okay. So if I want to, um, and continue on that list. Okay. So uh, some of my numbers repeated, so I need some more. So let's see how many numbers repeated. Uh, one of those numbers repeated 33. So I need one more random integer so I can hit stat, um, advanced random int. I don't know why I put it up there. Or maybe we can just try hit, hitting enter again. Yeah, and it gave me another list. So now I can use 48. So I don't even have to rewrite it in. I can just hit another list. Um, we could try some of these other options. Let's see what happens if we choose random number. Now if I do that and do the same thing, I think this is actually going to be a better option for us. Because I think it's not going to give me... Oh, never mind. Sorry. Random number gives you just any random number. So any real number. So you definitely don't want to use that. So the option we want to go with here is random integer, random int, okay? So that's how you could do that with technology. You could also do this on websites. Um, if I just, for example, Google random, or in this case, I'm using Siri, but I mean, um, Safari. So random number generator, it'll give me a lot of different options. And then I can just go to random.org, for example, and it'll, it gives me a way I can do this. It also, if you notice, I can do it here in Google itself. It has other options too, but I can just put in 1 to 50. And then I can just hit generate. And it'll generate a number and I can just write down my list. So 20, 18, 38, 4. Okay, so there's, it's simply, uh, that's another way you could do this. So those are some ways to do this with technology. Now for the homework, the way I'm going to ask you to do it is using random number tables like this one here. So what we have here is we have a table of random digits. So what you want to do is you want to select a starting point. Um, so the ways you could select a starting point is just dropping a pen on the paper and wherever it points, that's where you start. But in this case, we're gonna, it tells us where to start. So a small community college employs 87 full-time faculty members. To gain the faculty's opinions about an upcoming building project, the college president wishes to obtain a simple random sample that will consist of nine faculty members. He numbers the faculty from 1 to 87. Use the, starting, use the table starting with row 17, column 22 to randomly select nine faculty members. Okay, so to do that, we go to row 17, so that's down here, and I go over until I get to column 22. Notice the columns are grouped in groups of five. So like this is column 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So we go over to 21, 22, and so column 22 would be this 6. Okay. Now, I don't want just, and let's zoom in a little bit so that's a little easier. So I don't want just that 6 because how big a numbers am I dealing with? I'm dealing with two-digit numbers. So I want to pick two digits. So what I do is I take the 6, but I also go one digit to the right. So I'm also going to select that 9. So our first number would be that 6, 9. Okay, and then we just go from there, we go down. So our second number is 97. And then we go down again, and our next number is 0, 05, so 5. And we go down again, so we get 32. Now when you reach the bottom of the list, what you want to do is you want to go back up to the top. Now, we already used these two numbers, these two columns. So when we go back to the top, we start with the next column over. So the next column over, if I already used 22 and 23, would be 24. So it would start with this 56. So our next number is 56, and then 27, and then 60, and then 98. And in this case, I'm looking for nine numbers. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, and then 29. Now, there's nine numbers. The problem is those are nine random numbers. They're all different, so that's good. So we didn't repeat anything. But there is a problem here, which you may see. And that problem is that two of these numbers are too big. There is no number, faculty member number, number 97, because they go 1 to 87. And there's no faculty member number 98. So we're going to throw those out, and we're just going to keep going in our list. So the next one's 19. And then the next one after that is 37. Okay. And now we've got a list 
of nine faculty members that were randomly chosen. They're all different and they all fit in our list. Okay, so that's the idea. So that's how this works. So what I'd like you to do is flip to the next page, pause the video, and try doing the exact same thing for this problem. Okay, so when you hit play, we'll go through this together. Okay, so now you've had a chance to try this on your own. Let's try going through this one together. So in this case, we want to pick 10 students. Our numbers go from 1 to 7,656, and we want to start in row 15, column 32. So row 15, column 32 would be this 8. Okay. And then in this case, our biggest number is a four-digit number, so we're going to use four digits. So I'm going to go four to the right of that. So that means my first number would be that one I have underlined there, which is 8906. Okay. Now, one thing you should already notice, 8906 does not fit inside 1 to 7,656. So my first number is not going to work. Okay. Now I just go down a row. So that's 603, right? Because I don't need to write the 0 because 0603 is just 603. Okay. So that one works. Then 2,654. We go down again to 2,686. Down another one to 135, and down another one to 7783. But once again, 7783 is bigger than 7656, so that one isn't going to work either. So we can get rid of it, and so we've got four so far. Now I've made it to the bottom of the column, so I go up, and I start with the next column I haven't used yet. So I've used all the way over to this column, right? So I'm going to start with the first four digits starting with column 36. So that's 4,080, 6,621, 3,774, 7,887. But once again, that one's too big, so we throw that one out. 826, 916, and we need one more, so 3,188. And so that's all there is to using a random number table. So that's it for random um, sampling. All you need to know is to do simple random sampling is everybody has to have an equally likely chance to be in the sample. And one way to do that is with a random number table. Another way to do that is with a random number generator. You can also just draw names out of a hat if it's a small sample size. That's it for today's video. As always, if you have any questions, feel free to contact me through email or our mind or um, come to my office hours. And also don't forget to do the homework assignments and the quizzes.